What's up guys, so today I am here with my 2005 Subaru Outback Wagon and uh, I'm going to show you guys how I take off and put back on the grill uh, here on the front end. Uh, it's a pretty easy process, it's not too hard, you just, I think the biggest thing I'm going to point out is that you will be working with a couple small plastic clips and my advice to you, uh, well we came here to replace the grill, not the clips. So if you feel a clip that doesn't want to come out or it's just being hesitant, or even it looks like it's starting to break, be very careful and don't try to rush it or put extra force because it's just going to cost you extra money or just extra time and anger in the long run. So, that being said, let's get to it. Okay, so for tools for this uh, removal and installation, all you're going to need is a flathead screwdriver, preferably one that's not like super huge, uh, and your 10 millimeter socket. Um, oh, and the Dr. Pepper. If you don't have the Dr. Pepper, you might as well quit watching. Okay, so to begin with this, uh, you're probably going to want to open your hood. I think that would maybe help out. Okay, once the hood is open, I want you to take a look. You got a plastic clip right here. Let me show you this. There's a plastic clip right here. There's a bolt right there. There's a plastic clip right here. And there's a bolt right there. There's also clips back here. Okay, so for your clips, it really doesn't matter to me, like, which ones you do first. But for the clips, you just get your screwdriver, pop up under there, and uh, it comes right out. And then your bolts. And now you could use a, a Phillips head screwdriver, but I personally don't just because I feel like I'm going to strip it. But uh, all personal preference, either way, you can, just, can get the job done. Okay, so with the clips I was telling you about, there's that one, that one, that one, and that one. There's four of them. So when you get up behind them, there's this tab, and there's a tab back there. Don't worry about this one. We're not messing with that. You're going to get your screwdriver, and you're going to press. See the little tab down there? You're going to press down on that, on all of these, and kind of pull the grill forward as you're doing that, too. Boom. And then once all those are released, you just slide it out. Yeah. Oh yeah, that clip's still in a little bit. My bad. Oh. Okay, so to put it back in, it's pretty simple. Uh, now there's just a little bit of a trick to it. Uh, when you're when you're putting it in, you don't want to put it straight. You don't want to put it straight in. You don't want to put it up from the like that. Basically, don't put it in an angle. Try to put it straight in, and uh, although when you do it though, make sure that there's no gap down here. Uh, you want to make sure the bottom of the grill locks in down here. And that should all click in. Uh, and then to make sure that it's in correctly, lift up from the bottom, and that grill should be locked onto the bumper. It, it shouldn't come up. Okay, so now that's slid back in. Uh, we're gonna put our plastic pins and our two bolts back in and then we'll be done. Okay, and just like that, you're done. That's how you uh, take it off and replace it. Uh, that, at least that's the way I do it. There may be a more professional way, so I apologize if my way didn't work or you had some troubles, but I hope this helped you. And uh, if you're looking for more repair videos, removals, uh, and things like that, be sure to take a look at my channel, and I'll be posting content uh, similar to this uh, as days go on. So thank you guys for watching, and please make sure you subscribe and drop a like. We'll see you later.